is it possible these days to do what you do in your industry and not sort of be just hooked on the Fed? No, you're right, Brian. The Fed is the story. We've had tariffs, which is the other story this year, but the Fed always seems to lurk as the most important factor. And right now, I think the, the media's gotten a little ahead of what the Fed's going to do. We had a 3.2% GDP, and we have 3.6% unemployment in May. So I don't think in that strong U.S. economy, the Fed is going to say, we need to cut because we think an economic slowdown's on the horizon, and we see a few signs of a slowing economy. I think the Fed is looking at the bond market. They're not naive to, yes, there is some slowing global growth, but the U.S. has been strong. And I don't think because we have a few fears right now, the Fed is going to take affirmative action. And if they cut rates tomorrow or they cut rates in July, is that going to actually help the stock market? Or is the market already moved up in the last month in anticipation of the cut? I think the bond market has already moved. I think the stock market is waiting. I, I think the stock market will react positively later in the year if we have a slowdown to rate cuts. They still have juice and energy to move the market. On the other hand, if the Fed comes out tomorrow and surprisingly cuts, which I don't think they're going to do, but if they do, I think that's also a warning sign that maybe they see something scary or that is detrimental to stock prices. This is why I think they hold the line, not be overreactive. Remember, if we do get any deal with with China. That is going to be stimulative. And then if the Fed has just cut after they raised in December, that is a very murky situation. So I think they have a steadier hand in this month's meeting. And then if they move later in the year when things have more clarity, that could be a smarter strategy for them. Quickly, uh, Mark, a good investment to make right now is what? Well, I think you go to where the puck is going, not where it is, somebody once said. And I think if fact factories and manufacturing is moving out of China, look at emerging countries that are benefiting. I mean, Taiwan has an open for business sign. Vietnam is a beneficiary of this. India's got a 7% GDP forecast for next year. There are places around the world to make money. So I think you keep your eyes mm -hmm. open for those opportunities.